One of my absolute favorite abilities for soldiers is Shockwave. The power is real. Area of effect, knockback, everything just works nicely together. So hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos where we're going to be looking into Shockwave commanders for the new hero loadout. We're starting out with Onslaught Headhunter here with explosive optimization as the main perk allowing you to do some um, some interesting things we have a decreased shockwave energy cost so what this means is that you can use shockwave at a reduced price in energy as you can see i have slotted in the other shockwave main commanders in the support team and i just wanted to talk a little bit about what i feel is good for the different and what i feel isn't really that good Shockwave is a get out of jail card kind of thing because you can clear out the area around you so that you can go away. You can get everything from smashers to husky husks just flying backwards, but you can also use it in combination with your grenades and something else to just casually have fun, which is another way I like to use it. The Onslaught Headhunters Commander Plus perk that decrease the cost of the shockwave is in my opinion the weakest one we have i don't feel it is a good commander plus perk to have because you don't get any extra bite for the buck you're rarely down on energy of course if you are going grenade crazy you may be a little low on it but this is not an ability that you can spam as such due to the cooldown so having more energy or rather having a decreased cost as a main thing is not that great. This one however is more interesting with the Berserker Renegade because when your shield is depleted you get a free shockwave. Zero cost, that's a good thing so you can cost it even if you are surrounded by nature element husks and reduced cooldown. There is a limit, it can occur once every 12 seconds. So what this means is that you can, in theory, use your shockwave once every 12 seconds at best. So it is still not an ability that you can spam, but where the ability before was only giving you a reduction, this ability allows you to stay safe. It well, it will help you if you are in a crazy tricky situation where you are about to die. Then you will get the freebie that will allow you to push everything around you backwards while you get to safety. So this is a very, very, very viable Commander Plus perk. It is probably the best one in terms of progressional play if you are underpowered for your missions and you really need to boost through things then this ability will allow you to survive in situations where you might have died the next one here the doppler effect it says decrease shockwave energy cost <laughs> that's not true it's a bug it is a cool down reduction it was slotted in before as well but when you have it as a main you get a 56 percent reduction to the cooldown of shockwave so is that um <laughs> is that better is that better than having a a free shockwave with no cooldown if you are in trouble i tried to play around with him as well i went in with all of them so that i could like properly compare and talk about them and this was surprisingly efficient this was pretty great we have again, as you saw before, 12 second cooldown. So what we have with this option is a cooldown that is as low as what we had before, but without getting the freebie, but we have a constant every single time shockwave, 12 seconds. That is as close to spammable as it can get in the game. And it was surprisingly powerful. I could jump between these two survivors in a power level 100 mission. Of course I have my hover turret, 
but I was just able to jump, 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 jump. And as you can see here, using the going commando, the damage on it is nothing compared to what I was taking out with my shockwave. So the damage on it is crazy. The impact is unreal and the cooldown is low. Probably the most fun option. We also have the new Octype Havoc. Oh yes, we have with Escape Artist Plus. This is another ability, another Commander Plus perk that is very interesting. Um, <laughs> but where I feel it is close to useless as the main perk. What it does is that it increases your movement speed a lot when you use shockwave for a short amount of time and movement speed is always good in a game. I also had it as a support perk while I was playing with the other heroes which means that I did get a speed boost there but I get double speed boost now and how often do you need to run really really fast after using your shockwave? It comes down to where are you playing? Just as with the perk that reduced the cooldown to zero and gave you a free shockwave. Having a really really fast movement speed after a shockwave also means that if you are in trouble you can shockwave and then <laughs> run away like the brave retreating tactical soldier you are. Um, I felt it was pretty useless. It was fun but it's better as a support perk. The last one here increases shockwave radius by 112.5% love ranger jonesy. This is, oh, this is my preferred setup of the things that I have been playing while testing out here, focusing exclusively on Shockwave. And why is that? Yeah. We have a double, double sized Shockwave. We deal really great damage and high impact. We still have a little movement speed, we have a reduced cost, we have a little bit of what we have with all the other mains. But the area is pretty silly. It's pretty silly. As you can see here, using the shockwave will not allow me to take out a husky husk at full health. Um, but everything else that is hit by it dies. Sometimes shockwave bugs, sometimes you land on top of things and deal no damage. But in most cases, it is really, really efficient. And if you have the perk that allows you to deal almost 40% more damage to full health heroes, you're going to be dealing crazy area damage by jumping. Once again, comparing it with something such as the Going Commando, I feel that we have more power. We're not locked in any animation. And the size is just amazing. Look at how I pushed back the blaster and blasters can be one of those pretty sneaky things if you are going a little bit close range style so with this setup we have all the goodies but a huge range what do you guys feel in terms of shockwave and shockwave commanders what do you guys prefer this was what i had to share this time around thank you very much for watching and a huge thanks to everyone out there Writing in Loka Hansen as an Epic Games creator, I am deeply honored about the massive support you guys are showing me. Thank you guys.